टाइफॉइड कैन बी कॉस्ड ड्यू टू फीको ओरल रूट नाउ लेट्स रीड रीड द सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट द सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट से इज दैट टोबैको हैज बीन यूज बाई ह्यूमन बिकॉज इन्फ्लामेशन इज कॉज इन लिम्फेटिक वेसल्स नॉट इन द ब्लड वेसल दैट साइटोटॉक्सिक टी सेल इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ग्राफ्ट रिजेक्शन हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एल एन ओवरसीज इन दिस सीरीज वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस नाइनटी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन विच कैन कम इन नीट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री हियर वी हैव डिवाइडेड दीज क्वेश्चन इन टू थ्री डिफरेंट पार्ट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट ईच पार्ट For physics, we have taken thirty questions. For chemistry, again we have taken thirty questions. And for biology, again we have taken thirty questions. For physics and chemistry, we have divided these questions into two parts each. As you can see, in part one you will find fifteen questions. In part two you will find fifteen questions. Now let's talk about biology. For biology, we have divided these thirty questions into three different parts. part 1 part 2 part 3 and each part contains 10 questions here i am going to take 10 questions from part 3 all these parts are in the form of single single videos and these videos you can check out in the playlist link of the playlist you can find out in the description now let's take the part 3 of biology let's start with question number 21 now please see the question mark the incorrect statement now first we are going to read these statements the first statement is smoking also paves the way to hard drugs this is the direct line from ncert this means that suppose a person starts smoking slowly and slowly he indulges himself in taking drugs so this statement is correct now let's read the second statement the second statement says that tobacco has been used by human beings for more than 400 years again this is the direct line from ncert so this statement is again correct now let's talk about the third statement which says that tobacco is smoked chewed or used as a snuff now let's break this statement tobacco is smoked in the form of cigarette it is going to be chewed in the form of gutka or pan masala and it is going to be snuffed how actually talking about the tobacco first we will take tobacco we crush it we make a powder of it and then we are going to inhale it this is known as snuff of tobacco so this statement is again correct now the fourth statement let's see nicotine stimulates thyroid gland to release adrenaline and noradrenaline actually this statement is incorrect why because nicotine stimulates adrenal gland it is not the thyroid gland it is the adrenal gland to release adrenaline and noradrenaline therefore this statement is incorrect answer of this question is option number 4 Now let's talk about question number twenty-two. This question is select the incorrect statement regarding innate immunity. Again, the question from Human Health and Disease. Let's read all these four statements. The first statement is it contains cytokine barrier which protects non-infected cells from further infection. Now, if you remember this topic. here we are talking about innate immunity innate immunity we have discussed about cytokine barrier in which we have taken the example of interferon this interferon is basically released from virus infected cells which is going to protect the normal surrounding cells from further infection therefore statement 1 is correct now let's talk about the second statement the second statement says it is non specific type of defense that is gained after birth so let's segregate the statement innate immunity is non specific type of defense this particular line is correct now the second part is that is gained after birth no this is incorrect because it is gained by birth 
दैट्स वाई दिस स्टेटमेंट इज इन करेक्ट नाउ लेट्स फोकस ऑन द थर्ड स्टेटमेंट विच से दैट सर्टेन टाइप्स ऑफ ल्यूकोसाइट्स डब्ल्यू बी सी लाइक पी एम एन एल फॉर एग्जाम्पल न्यूट्रोफिल्स ऑल्सो फॉर्म इनट इम्यूनिटी अगेन दिस स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट वाई एम सिंग दिस बिकॉज इट इज द पार्ट ऑफ सेल्यूलर बैरियर सो अगेन दिस इज करेक्ट फोर्थ स्टेटमेंट स्किन इज द बैरियर ऑफ इनट इम्यूनिटी विच प्रिवेंट्स पैथोजन टू एंटर इन द बॉडी अगेन दिस स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट वाई एम सेंग दिस बिकॉज प्लीज रिकॉल in the case of innate innate immunity we have taken the physical barrier in which we have studied about skin as well as the mucous membrane that's why the fourth statement is again correct so here we need to identify the incorrect statement the second one is incorrect statement and this becomes the answer of the question number 22 now let's talk about question number 23 the question says select the incorrect statement against malaria now again the question is from human health and disease please see the first statement is sexual stage of plasmodium develops in human this statement is absolutely correct just recall after entering of sporozoid inside human body asexual reproduction takes place in liver cells as well as in the rbc now in the rbc sexual stage which is known as gametocyte the male gametocyte as well as female gametocyte these sexual stages forms in the rbc and when again a female anopheles bites these gametocytes enter into the mosquito means we can finally conclude that the sexual stage which is known as gametocyte it forms in human that's why the first statement is correct now let's talk about the second statement fertilization of plasmodium takes place in the gut of mosquito so please recall when female anopheles second time bites the human then what happens these gametocytes the sexual stage enters into the female anopheles these gametocytes reaches into the gut where it further converts into the gametes male gamete as well as female gamete and now fusion of male and female gamete takes place means fertilization takes place that's why the second statement is also correct now let's talk about the third statement which says that plasmodium parasite reproduce sexually in liver cells as we have discussed earlier that in the case of rbc and liver cell asexual reproduction takes place but this statement says that sexual reproduction takes place that's why this statement is incorrect the final statement the classical statement regarding the malaria which says that plasmodium is transmitted through female anopheles vector this statement is absolutely correct so we need to identify the incorrect statement which is option number 3 so answer of question number 23 is option number 3 now next question number 24 please see in the case of question number 24 first we need to see the question the question is select the incorrect statement for the given figure so please identify this figure this is the figure from ncert this is the figure of disease known as elephantiasis now let's read all the statements of this particular question after identifying this particular disease the first statement is the disease is caused by filarial worm absolutely correct statement why i am saying this because you know that this elephantiasis is basically caused by wucheraria brankofti or wucheraria malai which are basically filarial worm that's why first statement is correct now let's talk about the second statement which says that it is a slow developing chronic inflammation of the blood vessels let's break this statement please see it is slowly developing chronic inflammation this statement is correct of the blood vessel this part is wrong 
बिकॉज इंफ्लामेशन इज कॉज इन लिम्फेटिक वेसल्स नॉट इन द ब्लड वेसल्स दैट्स वाई द सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट इज इनकरेक्ट ऑल्सो यू हैव लर्न दैट इन द केस ऑफ एलिफेंटिस देर इज ग्रॉस डिफॉर्मिटी ऑफ द जेनाइटल ऑर्गन नाउ लेट्स रीड द थर्ड स्टेटमेंट द जेनाइटल ऑर्गन आर ऑफन अफेक्टेड दिस इज एब्सोल्यूटली करेक्ट इफ यू विल सी दिस डायग्राम द स्क्रोटल एरिया नियर टू द स्क्रोटल एरिया द पार्ट इज highly deformed that's why this genital area is affected third statement is correct final statement please see female mosquito acts as a vector again this statement is absolutely correct so we need to identify incorrect statement the second one is the incorrect one answer will be option number 2 now let's discuss about question number 25 mark the viral disease six different diseases are given let's read all these diseases one by one the first one is hay fever hay fever is allergy hay fever is allergy now chicken pox is a viral disease so here i am writing v viral disease now let's talk about diphtheria diphtheria is basically bacterial disease now next one rabies rabies is basically viral disease common cold basically common cold is again a viral disease and finally tetanus tetanus is a bacterial disease so we need to identify the viral diseases so here we are going to tick b d and e b d and e option number 1 is the correct answer of this question now next next one is question number 26 first we are going to read this question the question says a patient consumed contaminated food few days before first we will see the options typhoid pneumonia diphtheria and tuberculosis talking about pneumonia diphtheria and tuberculosis all of these three diseases basically comes from droplet infection droplet infection means mode of transmission in all these three diseases is droplet infection but talking about typhoid typhoid can be caused due to fecal oral route now let's read remaining part of this question now he is suffering from sustained high fever stomach pain weakness headache and loss of appetite what can be the probable disease all of these signs and symptoms which are given it belongs to typhoid so answer of this question will be option number 1 next let's take question number 27 the question says here two statements are given the first statement is t lymphocyte mediates cell mediated immunity now let's talk about immunity first if you have the idea of immunity you know that we have divided immunity the acquired immunity into two parts one is cell mediated immunity and second one is antibody mediated immunity cell mediated immunity is caused due to t lymphocyte while if we talk about the antibody mediated immunity it is caused by b lymphocyte now in the case of t lymphocyte we have also seen one more statement in ncert that cytotoxic t cell is responsible for graft rejection means cell mediated immune response is responsible for graft rejection after understanding this part of theory let's again come to the question first statement says t lymphocyte mediates cell mediated immunity this statement is absolutely correct the second statement says 
CMI is responsible for graft rejection. Again, this statement is correct. So statement 1 and statement 2, both of these statements are correct. Therefore, correct answer of this particular question is option number 1. Now, next question. Question number 28. Please see. Question says that, which of the following is correct statement? Now, in this question, we need to identify the correct statement. The first statement says, branching descent and natural selections are two key concepts of Lamarck's theory of evolution. No, branching descent and natural selection do not belong to Lamarck's theory of evolution. It belongs to Darwinian theory of evolution. That's why the first statement is incorrect. Let's see the second statement. Darwin Finches represents one of the best examples of adaptive radiation. Absolutely correct statement directly from NCERT. Next statement, Darwinian variations are random and directionless. This statement is absolutely incorrect. Why? Please try to understand. Talking about Hugo de Vries theory of mutation. Mutations are the variations which are random and directionless. Darwinian variations are not random and directionless. That's why this statement is incorrect. Fourth statement, the essence of Darwinian theory about evolution is saltation. This statement is again incorrect because if you will talk about the Hugo de Vries theory of mutation, in that part, it was said that Mutation is basically responsible for saltation, single step mutation. That's why the fourth statement is also incorrect. We need to identify the correct statement. Second will be the right answer, option number two. Now, let's focus on the next question, question number 29. Please see. Language of this question is, you need to identify incorrect option. The first one is, Prokaryotes 2 billion year ago. This is correct. Invertebrates 500 billion year ago. This is incorrect. It should be million year ago. That's why this is incorrect. Jawless fishes 350 million year ago. Again, this is correct directly from NCERT. And finally, origin of seaweeds 320 million year ago. Again, this is correct. So here the incorrect one is the second option, invertebrates 500 billion year ago. It should be million year ago. So second one is the right answer. Question number 29. Now we will see the last question, question number 30. First we'll read the question. From his experiments, S.L. Miller produced amino acids by mixing the following in a closed flask. The four options are given. First, we need to see the theory of this particular question. In the experiment, if you will remember, in a closed container, in a closed container or in a closed flask, Miller have taken CH4 means methane, NH3 means ammonia, H2 hydrogen as well as water vapors at a temperature 800 degrees Celsius. This was the theory in this particular experiment. Now we need to identify the correct option. Please see. Here option number 1 and 4 tells about 600 degrees Celsius each. That's why these two options are incorrect for this particular question. Now we need to focus on option number two and three. First, we will see option number three. Option number three says CH3, incorrect one. Then H2, this is matching with the theory. NH4, ammonium ion, again incorrect one. It should be ammonia, NH3. Water vapor is correct and temperature is also correct. So this statement is partially correct. That's why we cannot mark this option. Now let's see option number two. 
CH4 it is matching. NH3 means ammonia again it is matching. H2 it is also matching and finally water vapor it is also matching. The temperature is also correct 800 degrees Celsius. So option number two is the right answer for this particular question. So here we have completed the last part of biology that is part number three. All the videos related to this particular series you can find out in the description. Playlist link is given in the description below. Check it out. Thank you so much.